Hello there, I am Niklas, the Novice Retro Enthusiast, and welcome to the first episode of checking out random games for the TIG-80 Tiny Computer. Uh, this is a fantasy console. Um, we're going to use its surf functionality to find some, some games published to the internet. Um, and we're going to pick like three random popular games. Um, we're going to start with Supernova. Which is, as far as I know, a racing game. Well, not a, a racing game, but all you have to survive a supernova by staying on track and driving through these rings. Um, yeah, and it has a cool 3D effect to it. So, what is not to like about this game? So. Yeah, I'm already going 190 miles per hour, and I think I'm staying on track. Just barely. It's not easy though. Can I like accelerate? No, I can't. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. No. Okay, this is not good. Uh, okay, as you can see, the bars at the top are filling up now. Which, uh, to my knowledge, indicates the progress of the supernova. Which we have to outrun, as I already said. So let's not get uh, caught up by the. Uh, let's not let the supernova catch up to us. Yeah, I haven't personally been able to to program any proper 3D games yet. So this is this still feels absolutely amazing to me. Um, one day I'm gonna have to. Uh, develop something in 3D. Yeah, the, the best I did in, you know, uh, 3D visual-wise uh, was a Waycaster, which is obviously an amazing thing, but um, not as cool as something like this. Okay, I, I guess I'm kind of running out of time here. The supernova is definitely approaching us. I can see that not only by the Mars at the top, but also by the reddening palette and the uh, loud noise. Yeah, okay. We're gonna get toasted here. Uh, yeah. And dead. Hey, a new best time. I did, I did manage to beat my own record here. Very good. Um, let's not do another one of this though, we want to check more games out than just one. So, what other games do we have here? Um, I think an interesting game to show would be FPS 80. Okay, so now we are in FPS 80, though well, I do have to turn down my, vol my volume here. Okay. Okay, now these are the controls. Uh, sure enough, that sounds intuitive. Again, this is one of those games I've already played. Okay, I've already played a, a lot of games for the TIG-80, so yeah. Press S to open the door, yeah. So this is a first-person shooter. Wolfstein-like. Um, and, I mean, the way casting effect is just amazing. I have developed an away custom myself, but it isn't remotely as good as this. Though you can definitely hear that the performance isn't at 100% here. So, okay, let's turn around and um, uh, let's go into the... Yeah, no, there's no chamber over there, but... Um, yeah, I need a key. Let's, uh, so let's try this door. Oh, let me guess, there will be enemies right beside these walls. Yep. Okay, now I just uh, dropped a bomb, which is overkill, I guess, but cool. Okay, that gate has to open elsewhere, so let's go in here. Oh, come on. No. Hard rest wave again. No. Okay, that's the map. 
Yep. Okay. I can scrape like this. Yep. Killed. So let's um, head in here. Nice. Yeah, nice. That, that moment when the bomb only kills one single enemy is uh, very disappointing, but um, the effect is still cool enough. Oh, wood. Why do we have wood here? Oh, there's a key there. Let's take that one with us. Oh, god. Yeah, killed. So, let's head... Um, Oh, come on. Where do you come from? Let's head in here. What, what, what is in here? Oh, God. What is behind me? Uh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me. Thank you. Uh -huh, okay, the gate opened. Uh, where was the gate again? Um, no, I was in there already. Ah, here. Okay. So we're gonna head in there, then left, then right, then right again. Okay, left. Nice, more arrows. Then right. Then right. Uh, no, let's head it through here, but then right, I guess. Yep, yeah, and then in here. And another enemy. No. Stay away. Yeah, aiming is hard. Oh god. Okay, that, that generally uh, surprised me then. Uh, where... Ah, here. Nice. Oh no, not one of you again. No, I don't want to die. But I will. Oh god. I guess this is it. No, 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 we're gonna have to do this. Don't hit me. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> that was close, like five health left. Now 20. Let's get these hours though. Um. Oh, I guess that's our exit. Don't, please don't. Oh god, that was close. Okay, let's uh, get in here. Yeah, level clear. Okay, now, I mean, this game is just awesome. Um, though I'm not gonna continue. Again, I, I want to show several games here. So, what else do I want to try? Um, let's, let's try something I haven't already played to actually make this interesting. Um, let's try... Oh god, I already know a lot of games here. Let's let's play Ticklers again. Uh, yep. I mean, this is a Tetris clone. What else do you expect? Um, <laughs> I can remember it not having sound effects, though. Um, so I am amazed that someone has apparently updated the original uh, take us one for this platform. So, okay, I guess we're just gonna play Tetris now. That's also a good way to spend, like, five minutes. Sure. Um, I think I've never programmed my own version of Tetris. I have tried, but I stopped before I finished it. Um... Not good, obviously. Yeah, uh, my favorite version of Tetris is probably still the Game Boy version. It's, um, I mean, come on, the the uh, what do you call it in English? I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, control course? No, that sounds completely wrong. Um, yeah. 
that's that's a fail, I guess. What what do you call it? I'm just gonna call it the cross, whatever. Um anyway, the controls of Game Boy are perfectly suited for playing Tetris. Probably also also the reason why um Tetris worked so well on there. Okay, but what isn't working well is my attempt to um play th this version of Tetris, obviously. <laughs> it does feel very snappy though, so um, this is almost on the level a Game Boy offered. Doesn't change that I'm totally bad at this game. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly amazed I'm still alive. Yeah, okay, now this is just... Um, this is not gonna turn out well. The speed has definitely increased by now, though. Um, so has my stupidity. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it. Game over. There's a game over tune? Amazing. Okay, uh, let's... Yeah, I think this is enough for one episode. Um, let's... actually, let's try Powder Game. I mean, I, I already know what this will be. I mean... Oh, actually, this isn't mouse controlled. This is... Actually... Keyboard controlled. Now, how do... how does this work? Okay, I selected water. Okay, it is mouse controlled, but I have to select... Elements with with the keyboard. Okay, I didn't know there there was a powder box with actual water physics in in Tick eighty. I thought that was never finished. And working acid too. Damn. When did they do this? It even has animations. This is amazing. Holy shit. Wait one moment, I can... Wait, what? Ah, yeah, of course, steam turns into water. But water raining on magma turns into steam. However, I would have expected the magma to turn into stone. Hmm. Most interesting. What happens if I pull sand in there? No, nothing happens. Acid will... Acid doesn't appear to do anything against lava. Most interesting. Wait, is the stone just not existing anymore, or what is this? Okay, I suppose there are some graphical bugs in, in, in this version of, uh, of Powder Toy, but hey. Still amazed that Somebody managed to to develop all of this. Yeah, this definitely does feel a lot like the original Paolo toy. Uh, anyway, I guess this is enough for uh, one episode of trying random games for Tick 80. Although this is quite fun. <laughs> uh, if you liked it, Consider subscribing to my channel to not miss any more videos. I guess I'm gonna do a few more on, on Tick80. Um, maybe consider liking this video to uh, show you YouTube that these videos are actually good. Uh, and see you in the next video.